Hello, my wobbly goats. <laughs> What's good? Um, I'm making this video because I have literally not uploaded on my main YouTube channel, Mr. Wobbles, for about two to three months. And I'd like to kind of describe why. There's a surface level reason, which a lot of you might know, which is I got age restricted on like three really good videos that were super clean and it completely ruined what my channel was like doing. My channel was growing. I was doing really well after the OTV stuff. And then every upload I, I started putting up was getting absolutely reamed by not even the algorithm. Like these videos were doing well. And then like within a day it would get age restricted. And then it would take two weeks to get through support to get like a bigger YouTuber to help me um, get these videos on age restricted. Cause literally um, the bots would say, Oh, sorry. Like instant replies. You're, you're not allowed to like repeal this. Sorry. And then the, 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 the support would lead it into someone that was an actual human after a week of trying to get that. And then they would be like, um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this video. I have no idea why this happened, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to unage restrict it. But the problem with videos is that if it's a weekend or if it's two weeks into a video, you lo you lose about 80% of the steam of that video, right? So my last video with Billy Wilkins, for instance, that has like 300K views. I swear that video got like 100K views the first day it was out, got age restricted like 11 days in or 11 hours in, and then it was completely pulled out of every algorithm that exists. And now it's like getting good views because it's still in that algorithm a little bit, but it's not getting the, you know, initial amount of views that it should have. And that was, that's a very scary thing for me, you know, because I also lost leverage to get sponsors and sponsors are the only way I make money on YouTube at this point. Um, and uh, you know, I just don't have the ability to go and say and get my rates that I want. Right. Um, and that's not like I I'm saying that, and it sounds very, you know, like my nose is up in the air saying that, but here's the thing, man. Like I, since 2019, YouTube went from being like, um, you know, something you can make money off ad, ad revenue as like a, as a, you know, as a musician from to, I went from making probably 5k a month to like 3k a month off YouTube to making like 500 to a thousand. If I was getting like 2 million views per month which is insane. My CPM got screwed by monetization. All my videos are like completely de like, you know, they're, they're copyright claimed. I, I could sit there and I can make, I could go dun, 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 like a, like a melody from a song. And then that song will automatically get claimed. So YouTube is in a weird spot for me already. Um, and getting on ba band on Twitch has completely saved like my position as a content creator. But here's my issue, and here's why I quit streaming on Twitch, too, which is what I did last October, and I kind of took some time off, fixed my setup a little bit, fixed my audio quality, um, you know, set myself up with a better computer from Zydax, which is amazing. Thank you to them. I'm going to be putting out a vlog and a video for them when I actually get my YouTube channel back up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm setting up everything properly is because... I could sit there on no pixel. I can't make content out of it on my main YouTube channel that I would really like. That's like high quality that will get views. Um, and I, I was, I was so confused with like how to fuse my channel back together. You know, if you, if you're the apex situation is having a big YouTube channel, making high quality content that you can also stream on Twitch and you can fuse those things together. And because I lost Twitch for three months, I are three years. Sorry. I wish three months um, for three years. I literally stopped playing games on stream and making content out of it because there was no point. The best content that I was able to get was based on the, like trying to just find content on Omegle. Like Omegle became my saving grace for my YouTube channel. And then I was able to like continue doing random stuff and like learning how to play music and all that good stuff rather than just being your run of the mill beatboxer on Omegle doing the same video over and over again. I could then be like, I can play reggae now. I'm going to do a reggae video on Omegle. I could play pop punk. So I'm going to play a pop punk video on Omegle, right? Um, now I'm confused. I, I, I find no pixel to be in a weird spot um, for my type of content, which is like, I really like singing for people and enjoying that. And um, I don't know how I'm going to make videos out of the things I do on Twitch for my YouTube channel. And I want to make high quality stuff that actually gets views. But then it's like, if I make high quality stuff, I'm also risking getting age restricted. And if I'm not putting ads in it, I'm going to make a hundred dollars off every million views that I put up. And, and that makes YouTube a passion project and streaming my bread and butter 
which before it was, I was doing Omegle. That was my bread and butter. And then I would stream when I wanted to on this channel, which is Mr. Wobbles Extra. Um, I'm just confused. And I think I had this really weird moment, right? This like snap of the fingers um, where I realized like I could sit there and I could be Sly Lion on No Pixel and I could, I, people could sit there and who is that? Who's Mr. Wobbles? And they'll go look me up. And I think even like starting to date, like going on dates and stuff and, um, you know, like being in the real world, I started realizing that like, yes, I have a lot of good content out and funny stuff and, you know, all of it's based around music, but I'm missing a very quintessential thing. That's like the main product that I probably would be able to monetize and do for myself. And you guys would also appreciate it a lot, which is music, good merch, booking shows, having a good live set, you know? having all those things while doing this content and streaming on Twitch. So when people come to me and they look at my stuff, I'm not just funny guy who plays music. I also have some good stuff. And you know, I look at stick around and I think stick around is a great, like it's a success. I'm like, that's a song that really did well. well me and Marcus put barely any effort into promoting that. Um, I made an AMV uh, that I got off a dude on Fiverr for $55. And that has like 500 K views and me and Marcus have had like offers from people trying to buy the recording rights, like huge record labels, trying to buy stick around for like 20 to $30,000. Like it's a, it's a successful song. Right. So that being said, that's what people know me for. They know me for a song I made in like January of 2020. And that's my product right now. And I think being back on Twitch and being back in this situation where like, I'm kind of allowed to do what I want and I'm kind of allowed to like really sh be like, Hey, I'm going to practice. Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to sit on stream today, guys. And I'm just going to like learn how to use auto tune. Hey guys, I'm going to like set up my synth on stream and I'm going to do this. And you know, Hey, I'm going to make a song for you guys. And, and, and having starting to have like actual product that's like within my, the, my music is, is, is such an important thing. And it's something I don't feel fulfilled as a creator, not having anymore, you know? Um, and that's the thing, you know, I think having legit music and starting to build that up because I've built up the marketing for it uh, is the only thing I should really be thinking about right now. Um, I should also be really thinking about like, how can I take Twitch and how can I take Twitch and make good YouTube videos for it so that I'm not just completely relying upon the matter of fact that I'm, I happen to be live on Twitch and people might know my name. They're going to come and watch my Twitch because my YouTube videos are unilateral with it. And I start really blending those demographics together, um, which is I, I'm always afraid of that, man. You know, I, I realized, you know, even with this channel, when I was streaming VR chat and making Omegle videos and I stopped making VR chat videos on my main channel for a long time, maybe a year or so, the, the numbers go down and people are like, what, why, why aren't, why isn't this a video? Why aren't you making this something, you know, is this just like content for the void? And I start, I have so much backlogged content for the void, um, that comes from streams that I'm like, I should really be focusing on making everything, uh, digestible and promoted while also doing like, Hey, I'm going to do a subathon where I have to make an album. You know, I'm going to start putting out real music because I have good, I have, I have 500 songs written in this thing. I have so much music that I've just made in like discord and with like my people discord.gg slash wobbles, uh, just hanging out and being like, this is amazing. And I, I'll, you know, I have good music that's like ready. I just don't, I didn't record it right. Or I didn't go to a studio and do it, did it. And you know, like I just need to like really focus on that while doing more with blending everything together rather than having my YouTube audience, which is on YouTube to watch me be funny guy on Omegle and my, extra channel, which they want to watch me talk about things. Um, and you know, the, this and that, and then, you know, my, my Twitch where I played grand theft auto and then make no content out of it, uh, anywhere else on any of my other channels. But I'm also putting like thousands of dollars into producing music for, um, my character on there that like has no storylines right now. Cause I haven't played him for five months. And right now it's so hard to play no pixel and get back into it. Because I have no, I, I don't know anybody. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't have like, it's so hard for me to just be like, I'm confident and I'm going to go find some RP and do this and do that. Um, 
it's just a lot, man. That's that. It, it's it's genuinely hard for me to like want to go live, and I don't know what people want from me, and I don't I don't know if I'll do well in this. If I get two hundred viewers playing Rust and four hundred playing Wild Red Dead RP, should I go for the four hundred viewers? But if I'm not making a video out of the, out of the you know the Wild RP content, am I gonna? Is, is that actually just like a declining fade um, of? I'm making this content right now and it's live on Twitch, but it's not actually going to be reciprocated elsewhere where this rust video will get reciprocated and then I'll have more people watching my rust. And then maybe I should do just music streams. And you know, this is what I'm always thinking about. And it's, it's just, it kills me, man. Like it, it, it brings me so much stress to be like, I want to be able to do this job. And it's such a privilege to be a YouTuber. And I've put so much excessive amounts of work into my craft as a musician, um, to not be making music and to not be like trying to also be a musician in the real world. You know how much it sucks to go like on a date with a chick that you meet for the first time and you really like them and you're like, yeah, I got this song about like wanting to kill myself and I made an anime music video out of it. And then I have like a funny Omega video and that's all you have to offer this person. And it's like, I just want to be more than that. You know, like I want to have, you know, I think about my name all the time. Like, is Mr. Wobbles a good name? I kind of love my name, but I'm like, should I really, should I rebrand at a million subs total? You know, is that a good idea? Probably not. Probably not at all. Um, I just don't want to be like viewed as this, like, like uh, this person that doesn't have much to offer anymore. And that's what I realized. I think that comes from confidence. I think that's come from like, me taking a break when I knew I was not doing well and going, okay, I'm going to try to fix my relationship. I'm going to, I'm going to try to work out. I'm going to try to eat better. I'm going to take better care of my dog. Um, even though it's snowing, you know, I, I taught my dog how to pee on like a thing of grass on my balconies, but I, I tend to try to take it out now more. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to take better care of my house and my relationships and my people. And you know, that's helped me exponentially. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't see my nephew when he was born. I didn't see, I, I, I forgot my mom's birthday. Like I, I do stuff that I'm like, I really don't want to be that person. You know, like I really want to be living my life and being healthy in it and then bringing that energy to my platforms rather than being using my platforms to hopefully give me that energy. Cause that's a, that's not a good place to be, man. Um, relying on on the randomness and the volatility and the up and down of being a content creator and the amazing serotonin you get when it's going super well and the and the misery that it is when you're not going it's not going well and you think you're screwed you know <coughs> I, I, that's where i'm at you know i'm going to upload on youtube again i'm just thinking and i think that if you look at my channel through the years Every time I've stopped and I've thought, I come back with something pretty good, hopefully, and I hope you guys are there to see it. I'm sorry that I keep making these long videos. It's literally just me talking to my, like, I'm literally talking to myself. I sound insane, and I'm sorry if it's like, I don't care. <laughs> why am I watching this? You know, like, I can imagine me being like a random dude watching this and being like, why do I care about what Mr. Wobbles wants to do? You know, I feel that, dude. I don't know either. I'm just a guy that, like, randomly became a youtuber and it's it's insane I, I was doing like roofing and like construction and then all of this stuff started happening and i've had to like continuously find niches and like just make myself and carve the stone man uh and i'm trying to make like a really good sculpted greek god rather than like a big fat modern american statue and i'm i'm gonna try to make that and i'm gonna focus more on that and this is why i think me telling you guys this stuff will allow you to see the the mind that I'm I'm using to kind of facilitate what I want. And it may seem like I'm being lazy and I absolutely am. I probably could do way more for myself, but I'm really trying to set that up for myself and for you guys rather than like being like, "Hey, I'm just going to like play this really comfy RP game and um not do anything important for 3 months uh that I should be doing because screw it." You know? That's why I got banned on Twitch. If, if you want my honest opinion is I blew up off VR chat and I chased the serotonin and the money and the high of like being, be knowing that my, my, my XY curve is going up. And the thing about like, 
YouTube and I tell this to every young aspiring YouTuber. I tell this to my friends who hit me up. I've told this to people that got bigger than me and smaller than me. And people always are like, that was really good advice is that I don't think YouTube works as like this thing where you just go up and then go down. I think this, if you continue uploading and trying and thinking and putting your effort into something like content creation, it goes up and it goes down. But then now, so like this is where it was before you start getting a new, um, it's not a roof. It's not, it's not a ceiling. You get a, you get a new attic, a new floor, right? So now you're here and then you get a blow up and then it starts going down, but now it goes down to here and then you go up here and then you go down and then it jumps up to here. And it's just like a little like gradual, you know, if you keep it going a little gradual up. And I think people want to see music for me. And I think people want to see, like, I want to be able to go and play in front of like Foosley or someone that's a big, you know, amazing content creator and then then be like, oh, this guy has music. Oh, it's really good. Wow. You know, oh, this guy, like this guy is making videos out of the game that we met playing together and it's recent. I'm going to go watch it on stream. I'm going to go do this. You know, I think that's important. And I think I, 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 I've been lacking so much in that. And it's something that I could attribute to a lot of mental health issues and not taking care of myself, not having confidence, but there's no excuse to be living in a world where you're not trying to be the best version of you to then output the best version of yourself and what you want to be to other people. And that's what I realized, you know, like that's, that's lit a fire under my skin. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading, man. Go follow my Twitch. It's always the first thing in the description. And, uh, you know, hope you guys are having a good day. My wobbly goats.